Um, you must be Phoenix Wright. Y yes Pleased to meet you, I'm Ken Dingling. But here at the circus, everyone just calls me Acro. Oh, come on. Come on, man. Mr. Acro. Um, how do you know my name? A detective told me. He said you'd definitely show up here. Acro, you're a member of the circus as well? That's right. I mainly performed on the tightrope or all the flying trapeze. But nowadays, all I perform in is my wheelchair. Acro, why did you join the circus? Now as a kid, my parents failed miserably at business. Then one night, they decided to run away from it all, without me. But the only person who was willing to take my parents' place was the ringmaster. I'm gonna... I'm gonna find the, the man responsible for this and kill him. Come on! The ringmaster took such incredible care of me. He was truly a lifesaver. It seems like the ringmaster was truly a saint. He was. That's why I decided to do something very important. I decided that I would devote my entire life to finding a way to repay him. And now, look how someone repaid him for all the good in his life. It's such a shame. Sometimes I think he was almost too kind. Perhaps he was too kind to his performers. Perhaps he was too kind to his daughter. Hmm, I wonder if he spoiled Regina. Regina's so cute, she's truly a princess. Truly a princess? Are you sure that's a good thing? Um... Hmm, do I detect a hint of grudge against Regina? Um, I'm sorry to ask, but why are you, why are you in a wheelchair? Why are you in a wheelchair? The nerves in my legs were badly damaged. And you can't walk now? I can't even stand now. And since I live on the third floor, I can't even leave this building by myself. That's awful. The accident happened during an acrobatic session, right? Um... Um... Cyclops! It doesn't seem like Acro's injuries were acrobatic in nature. What's on your mind, Mr. Raint? Well, exactly when were you injured? It's been almost six months since I was hurt. I injured my legs during practice. Six months ago? What in the world went on at the circus then? I stopped by yesterday and noticed that you weren't in your room. I was at the hospital all day yesterday. Ah, you went there for rehabilitation? What about the murder? Of course I knew about it. I spoke with the police before they allowed me to go to the hospital. Before I got the call from the prosecutor, I was convinced that it was all a dream. Huh? I just couldn't believe it when I saw what I saw. What you saw? Jeez, that sounded really ominous. Hmm. What did you see, Acro? That night, I was in bed sleeping when I heard a huge sound coming from my from below my window. I see. The scene of the crime was right below your window. That's when I looked down the window. What did you see? He was flying straight up into the air. He he. Maximilian Galactica. What? That's what I thought he'd say. You're absolutely positive that it was Max that you saw flying? I'm absolutely sure. There's no doubt about it in my mind. N Nick. Hmm. Hmm. Watch this. That's what we wanted to know. It was posted in the cafeteria the morning before the murder. In the cafeteria? What what happened? He suddenly looked incredibly serious. If it's got something to do with her, then you should go straight to the source. Her? Regina, ask her about it. What? Maximilian Grantica, right? 
You'll have to forgive me, but I try not to think about him. Akra won't even look at it. Looks like something is really weighing on, weighing on him. Mary Samilia Galantica, right? You'll have to forgive me. Regina. She's cool, isn't she? And can you believe such a cute girl is an animal tamer? It seems animals are not the only thing she tames. Huh? Max, the ringmaster, Ben. He's got them all under her thumb. What, what do you mean by that? Mm, maybe I went a bit overboard. It's just Regina's innocence. She was incredibly sheltered as a child. I'd say that it seems that way. That's why she can be so cruel. What? Regina is just like the animal she claims to tame. She's innocent, thus she can be cruel. I wonder what happened between Akron and Regina. Hmm. Interesting. Um, okay. Let's go... Maybe she's, she's back now. <clears throat> Maybe she's back at the big top. Here we go. Grrr. I've got a bad feeling about this. Grrr. Yeah, Nick! Wonderful. Today's special must be Phileo Phoenix. Stay, stay, heal! Oh, Maya, Nick, it's you guys. I'm sorry, I guess I made a mistake. A m m mistake? Yeah, little one. I was thinking of teaching whatever primate was out there a lesson. But I was expecting more of a monkey than a human. A monkey? Huh. It's a pity about what happened to the ringmaster. Dad? Everyone loved him, didn't they? He must have been quite a man. He was! I love my dad so much! I had to say it, but she doesn't seem all that broken up about her father. That's why I feel so lonely. Now that I won't be, be able to see him for a while. For a while? Yeah! When Leon died, that talked with my dad, and he told me that when someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. A s star? That means that my dad is looking down on me from the sky. That's why I love the night so much, I can see everyone who's gone. When someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens? That's kinda sweet. But I bet you there's no way that Maya believes that. What do you mean there's no way I believe that? Do you think that one day I'll be a star too? Of course. You really think so? Yeah, you will, I think. I've got a feeling that everyone is doing great up there in the sky. I wonder if everything is alright with Regina. Just to go back and clear something up, why'd you want to teach Monkey a lesson? Money a lesson? Because he's mini! He's got something that means a lot to me. Something that means a lot to you. It must be something shiny, right? Um, actually, it's a stage costume. It's got lots of spangles. It's really beautiful. You should see it. We should? When the costume gets hit by a spotlight, it dazzles. Hey, Mr. Tony. Huh? If you saw that monkey, you'd get my costume back for me, wouldn't you? It's really important to me. <laughs> Gladly, my lady. Leave it up t all up to us. Guess there's no turning down that request. Yeah, you really going to do it? I guess so. Um. Ah, it's Akroy. Is he in his room today? Yes, he is. We just came back from meeting with him. I hope his legs get better soon. Akroy's so incredible, especially on trapeze. The trapeze is that enormous swing hanging from the top of the tent, right? Da, that's it. I really want to see him up there again. Acro the Acrobat. That's strange. Acro doesn't seem to have very many nice things to say about Regina. But Regina seems to like Acro just fine. Huh. Um, okay. 
Oh, oh yeah. Regina, have you ever seen this before? Uh, I know what this is. R really? Well, it was in my pocket for a while. It, it was in your pocket? This piece of paper was in your pocket. Mm, I guess I noticed it was there around breakfast time. Breakfast time? Yeah, I always take Akari's breakfast in the morning. That's when I also take out the trash in his room. So I don't go to the cafeteria and eat my own breakfast. That's when you realized the piece of paper was in your pocket? Da, but since I'm not a murderer, I just figured that belonged to someone else's pocket. And then what? I wondered if the person who was who lost it was in trouble, so you didn't put it on the bulletin board in the cafeteria, did you? I did! I stuck it up there, how'd you know? Hmm, so it was Regina who put it up there. When did this happen? Um, the morning of the murder, I think. That explains a lot. I wonder who wrote it. I see. It all makes sense now. What do you know about this? That's paper, isn't it? From the cafeteria. Huh? It's from the cafeteria? It's not? I remember seeing, seeing it there. Hmm, so this was the cafeteria's pepper. You know, I'm not a big fan of pepper. Oh, yeah? Oh, I thought there was something else. Okay, I guess, um... I guess that's it. Thanks a lot, Regina. Let's see if uh, Mo is back in his room. Mm, Mo's not here. What's that? I hear something. S stop it, Nick. Y you're scaring me. Nick, it's money! That monkey's holding something. That's it. That's a thing that means a lot to Regina, remember? Alright, time to take on this monkey. Attorney style! Uh, give it back, monkey brain! That means a lot to Regina. A real man wouldn't make a little girl cry. Uh, uh, yikes! Wow! I tried to have a man to man talk with him. I really did. You know, man to man isn't really accurate. It's more like man to monkey. Nick, you. you. I swiped it while money was distracted. Wow, you're really on the bomb today, Nick. Let me see it, let me see it. Huh? You can see it fine from where you are. You know what I mean? I really want to try it on Regina's costume. Maybe then they'll take you in the circus and I can get some peace and quiet. Hmm, what's the matter now? It doesn't fit me at all. Oh well, I guess it's time for you to lay off the burgers. Not to mention, it doesn't look like something any girl I know would actually wear. But then again, all the girls I know, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? All right, well, that was pretty easy. I'll just go back and give it to her. There you go. Hey, Regina. Here you go, Regina. Yay! Thank you. You really got it back for me. Don't mention it. I love you, Mr. Attorney. Blush. It's nothing. No wonder guys melted mush in front of this girl. Hey, Regina. That costume is yours, right? I tried it on, but it didn't fit me. Huh? This costume? This isn't mine, it was Leon's. Leon's? You know, the, you know, the line she told us about? Oh, the one that someone killed. Leon, he was killed, wasn't he? That's right, my dad killed him. Why? Well, Leon did something really bad during practice. During practice? Leon was sitting down, then he opened his mouth, you know. Go! Uh-huh, uh-huh. Usually when he did that, I would put my head into his mouth. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wait, you put your head into a lion's mouth? I sure did. The people in the crowd always loved seeing me do that. They'd always start screaming. You sure they were screaming because they loved seeing you do that? Anyways... What was the bad thing? Oh yeah, Leon bit someone during that practice. Re Re Regina, everything was alright though, right? 
No, it wasn't alright. That was the problem. My dad was incredibly angry. And that's when Leon... Yeah, da. That's when he became a star in the sky. Poor thing. So sheltered. Poor thing. Um... Okay, no more talking with her. Uh, so... Find another place? Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, no. I don't know. Something smells fantastic. So we know it can't be Mel. Wait, I know what it is. It's burgers. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Bistro de Kirk. Kirk? A.K.A. the cafeteria. Mmm, it smells so good in here. Those burgers look great. She's drooling like she's some sort of crazed burger monster. My burgers are the best! Juicy meat toasted bun special sauce! They're absolutely irresistible to anyone that's hankering for a burger. One bite will send you into hamburger heaven! I bet. I can tell by the smell. Whoa, I'm getting hungry too. Those burgers must have some kind of special power. <sighs> now that the ringmaster is gone, what are you gonna do? That's all I've thought about the past two days. Everyone loved Russell. You've heard Acro's story, haven't you? Like how he was adopted when he was younger? He's calmed down a bit now, but he was livid when, the, when he heard about the murder. Acro was so upset that he said he couldn't go on. He was that upset? Yes, he was. Anyway, I gave it some thought. Maybe I should give up on trying to be a half big clown. I've been thinking of trying on the ringmaster's shoes. What? Really? Max would still be an issue, though. Max? He may be a bit mean and hard to work with, but it's hard to argue his importance. He's probably the reason the circus is still around. A lot of what he says is right. Mo? All that's left is to see if everyone can get over the tragedy. You know? The tragedy. You know? What is he talking about? Get over what tragedy, Mo? Huh? Don't worry about it, it's nothing, nothing at all. It must mean the tragic death of the ringmaster, right? Yes, yes, that's it, you're right, girly. Ding, 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 correct, Tomondo. Doesn't he mean ding? Mo? I mean no disrespect here, but are you lying to us? Eh? No, not at all, what makes you think that? Just the way you said if everyone can, can get over the tragedy seemed a bit strange. Sounded like you were talking about something from a long time ago. Eek, 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 eek. Mo, I'm right, aren't I? No. Uh oh. So now we're getting closer to the truth. It was about six months ago. It was just a little accident. Give me a break! Us all men have we have big accidents. Uh, I wear big pants for a reason. Six months ago, eh? Hmm. Well, I think, uh... I think I know... I think I have all the evidence I need. Take Mo on. Catch him with his pants down, so to speak. Uh, Mo, please tell us what happened six months ago. What in the world went on at this circus? Okay, okay, there's no need to look so scary when you ask me. Hey, look over there! Some juicy burgers! Let's eat instead! Unfortunately, I'm no- I'm more of a grilled chicken sandwich man myself. Ah, uh, Actually, I've kind of got an idea of what happened back then. Me- Mo, you said something about an accident? This wouldn't happen to be the cause of that accident, would it? The lion? I heard a little bit about it from Regina. Leon made a mistake during a practice, right? How did you? I told them so many times, you shouldn't be doing such dangerous acts, like putting her head inside Leon's mouth, right? Yeah, but Regina, Regina believed in Leon. She believed so strongly that the ringmaster went along. He never could say no to her. I have curiosity. Who was Ben? Come on, Mo. Don't climb up on me now. Who did Leon bite on the head? 
Well, um, I promised I wouldn't say anything. You promised? He's involved in this, too. He's involved, huh? Mo must be talking about... Mo, is this person that you promised you wouldn't say anything? It must have been Akra, right? <laughs> How did you know? Don't worry about that, Mo. Getting to the bottom of this accident may help solve what happened to the Ringmaster. No, no way! I need to know the truth about what happened to Russell. Please tell me what you know. I'm sorry, Akro. Alright. Sweet home Alabama. Yeah, buddy. It's just like you said, you know? The accident. Did someone die? No, but it would have been probably better if he'd had. What? How would that have been better? He's still alive. But when he got bent, he suffered massive brain damage. He'll never recover from the coma that he's in. Coma? All he does now is lie in, the, in his bed at the hospital. And that's all he's ever going to be able to do. I see. How is he related to Akro? He was his brother. Huh? A person who got bent was Akro's brother. But brother They were an acrobat team of brothers, Akro and Bat. Cute nicknames, I thought. Anyways, they were an incredible team. Got down together in their prime. Um, who's Akro's younger brother? Sean Dingling, but everyone always called him Bat. He fell in love with Regina, trying to win her love was his downfall. Everyone seems to fall in love with Regina. Six months ago, while we were practicing, all of a sudden Bat blurts out, let me perform with Leon. Why do you do that? I don't know, but that's what caused the accident. I'll never forget that moment. It was so strange. Leon had the weirdest look on his face. He was... smiling. He? You mean Leon? Yes, Leon. When he bit down, he was smiling. <laughs> Some sick grin. No way. That's impossible. A smirking lion. A flying murderer. Why does it seem that it's always Mo who catches all of these incredible events? Nick, can Lion smile? Um... I never told the police about the incident. The circus would have been shut down if we had. The next day, the ringmaster took Leon out and shot him with a rifle. So that's what really happened. Well, you guys were so serious, what was I supposed to do? I have to tell ya. All this truthfulness had put me in the mood for a burger. Here, you two have some pepper. Shaka 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 shaka. There he goes again, acting like his normal stoogy self. Uh, uh, uh. Achoo! Achoo! Nice, what a wonderful sneeze. Huh? You think so? You sneeze with pepper and slip on a banana peel. That's basic clownsmanship. Girlie, I know you got tea, I understand that. Nick, I think I'd make a good clown. I don't know, Regina, I've never seen a cuter sneezer. <laughs> does Regina sneeze with pepper too? She does, but Bat would always tease her with pepper. But bat From my point of view, those two always looked so perfect together. They, they look perfect together, huh? Whew, man alive, alright. Well, I think, um... I think a Acro has some explaining to do. So, um... Ah, Mr. Wright, back again, I see. Well, he did say I'll be back. Wait, or was that someone else? <clears throat> we're back because Acro's hiding while his legs were injured. He was hurt in the accident six months ago. It would seem that he knows that we know well, well, it seems you've got things you want to talk about, so fire away. With pleasure. Motherfucker. <clears throat> uh, 
I have to ask you, how were you injured? I'm sorry, I thought we talked about this. It was an accident that happened during practice. An accident during practice? Yes, unfortunately acrobats are prone to all sorts of injuries. He's lying. If that were the real cause, he'd have no reason to keep it secret. Acro, are you really me are you really telling me that practice that a practice accident was the cause of your injury? And not a lion? Leon. Six months ago you were attacked by the lion. That's when you were injured. I know I'm on the right track. I just need to keep going. You're saying that I was attacked by a lion? That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright, but I'm an acrobat. I'm no animal tamer. If a lion was coming at me, I'd be running for the exit. Okay, maybe attacked is not the best word to be using. So let me rephrase that as battle the lion. You seem to enjoy telling jokes. Why would I decide to battle a lion? Because you had to fight it. You had to fight it to save someone. Your brother, Sean Dingling. Bet. It's a shame what happened to your brother six months ago. But you tried to save him, didn't you? That's how you got that terrible injury. Mo, he must have told you. Yes, we learned about Bat from Mo. But he didn't mention anything about you in regards to that accident. I suppose it was just a slip of the tongue on his part. That's how I figured it out. A slip of the tongue? Anyways, they were an incredible team. Cut down together in their prime. Cut down together. That was where he slipped, and that's how I figured it out. You two ended up at the center of the same accident together. Like always. I see. But an accident is an accident. It wasn't anyone's fault. I still haven't broken Akro's last cyclock. This must be one incredibly deep-seated secret. It wasn't anyone's fault. Do you care to explain more? Akro, I know you're still hiding something from me. Maybe someone you don't seem to like much is the reason you're being evasive? One Regina Berry? R regina You always seem calm and collected until you start talking about her. Saying things like she's cruel. Well done, Mr. Tooney. You've got quite the set of eagle eyes. You know, her tiger tried to attack me. Regent tried to attack you? Twice. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't serious, I'm sure. You're not trying to insinuate that I believe she spurred on Leon to attack Bat, are you? Leon was never taught a command to attack people. Regina isn't capable of doing anything like that. Besides, Regina had no reason to want to hurt my little brother. Regina and Bat were such good friends back then. But you still hate Regina. I've got proof of it. What? What are you talking about? No, oh, maybe I've maybe I overdid it again. But if I can hand hand something over to Acro, maybe it will Here's proof that he had it out for Regina all along. It's gotta be you, man. It's gotta be you. Th this where'd you get it? Regina posted it on the bulletin board in the cafeteria. Before that, it was in her pocket. Hmm, I guess I noticed it was around there around breakfast time. I always take Acro his breakfast in the morning. You wrote this, and then you put it in her pocket. That's right, isn't it? it that's right. Well done, Mr. Rain. Yeah, buddy. <clears throat> my legs were injured by Leon. Six months ago, my younger brother Bat had a dare with Regina. A dare? An absurd dare. If I can put my head inside of Leon's mouth like you do, you have to go to the movies with me on a date. That's insane. Didn't he know how dangerous that is? We all thought he was being stupid too, but that line was very old to begin with, and each brought with it countless experience in doing that very trick. Unfortunately, this particular time, I guess Leon wasn't ready or willing. That's when the accident happened. He just wanted to take her out to the movies. Poor bat. When Leon chomped down, I jumped towards him. 
Then Leon attacked me, and that's how I ended up. What about Bat? He's still in a coma. I went to the hospital yesterday to visit him. I see. I see. I'm still waiting for him to open his eyes again. And that's the reason why I keep going. Bat and Regina. They were such great friends. Oh yeah, I wanted you to take a look at this. What is it? This is the scarf my brother was wearing when Leon attacked him. Gross, it's covered in blood. This scarf is a present from Regina to my brother on the day of the accident. Hmm. When he did it, he looked like he was smiling. He? Leon, obviously. Oh. When he bit down on Bet's head, the expression on Leon's face looked like a grin. Nick, I know, most said the same thing. What do you think it all means? I'll be taking that scarf if you don't mind. This one, Karma? I've already heard everything, so hand over the scarf. But the scarf is evidence in the trial. That is for me to decide. I think we should begin our preparations now, Akron. Preparations? I've served the summons to Akro to appear in the court tomorrow as, we have, as a witness. Akro, we'll talk more at the prosecutor's office. Akro, a witness? Come, Akro, let's go to the office. Yes, ma'am. We. Now, what do we, do we do, Nick? How are we gonna handle tomorrow? Don't worry about it. I'll figure something out. Look at you, all full of confidence. You must have found something you can use. This is all beginning to come together now. To be continued. Uh, yes.